If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Word adopter. Be an adopter. Now, what in the world do I mean by that? So in the, in the groups that I've been a member of, I would take it upon myself. Once I was in the group and I knew everybody in the group, when I would see somebody brand new, like a visitor come to the group, I took it upon myself. Nobody had to give me this responsibility as being the official greeter. I just took it upon myself. I wanted to adopt anybody brand new that had come in and make them feel welcome. Because after all, we all know what it feels like to be, be visiting a new group and you've never been there. Well, it's sort of an awkward feeling, right? You're in this group of people. You don't know who they are now, Crystal and then Chaffee. So I'm going to ask both of you the same question. Crystal, you go first, then Chaffee. So I, I, I want people to see the connection as to where this is leading after serving, meeting people. Well, what are the steps to actually attracting the private money, right? So we need to connect the dots. So Crystal, you first and Chavi, let me, let me, let me pose the question. You've gotten involved in a group, Rotary Club, that's a whole different conversation, whole different strategy, but you got Rotary Club, you got Business Networking International, you got Chamber of Commerce, that's a whole different animal, et cetera, et cetera. So you got church, uh, you got your golf club, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, there, there's, a, there's a group for any kind of interest that you've got. Whatever you've got an interest in, I mean, for goodness sakes, Carol Joy's best friend at church her name is kim she's in the quilting group well i'm just not attracted to the quilting group i'm sorry i'm not gonna be hanging around the quilters right but whatever interest it is you got get engaged in that so here we go with the question you're involved in a group you're in a group by the way you all see how what i'm talking about here the money comes first the worst time and the most desperate time to be looking for money is when you need it for a deal, right? So we're going to get the money lined up. There's always deals. There's always deals, right? So Crystal and Chaffee, they get involved in the group. They join. They're meeting people. They're offering to volunteer. Hey, what's a great way for you to serve in one of these groups? Ask the leaders of the group, what do they need help with? <laughs> Just ask them. What do they need help with? How can I volunteer and make a difference in this group? Because I really like this group. I'm interested in serving. So they're doing that. Okay, Crystal, then Chaffee. What happens after that? I mean, what is this thing we call a one-on-one? -on -one? And what do we do in a one-on-one? -on -one? Why do a one-on-one? -on -one? What is a one-on-one? -on -one? And then what happens at a one-on-one? -on -one? So a one-on-one -on -one is then that opportunity where you're going to connect to certain individuals within the group in a one-on-one -on -one situation, i.e. we get together and we have lunch or we meet and have a coffee or we meet at the conference room at my attorney's office, wherever that may be. And in the one-on-one -on -one is where we're going to discuss our private lending program. So we're going to answer questions or we're going to have the opportunity to present what our program is or whatever that may be, but we're going to share. And it's really important in my personal opinion, and I know that you share this opinion, when we get into these one-on-ones, we're first really looking for how can we help that other individual? Like, Amen. what can I do for you? Don't, yeah. don't, miss, don't miss what Crystal just said. We're, you're not setting up a one-on-one -on -one to pitch, for goodness sakes. I never pitched anybody on this stuff. So you're setting up your one-on-one, -on -one, as Crystal just said, to find out about their business and what they do and how you can serve them and help them and et cetera. Go ahead, Crystal. I didn't want people to miss that. 
Absolutely. So, yeah. So, you know, the first key is, hey, how can I help you? Tell me a little bit about your business. You know, it's it's really looking for how can we help someone else? Because what's the natural reaction to that? Well, obviously, if you want to help someone, what do they want to do? They want to help you as well. They're interested in you. So then you obviously are going to share with them. And it's really not about them helping you. You're going to share with them what it is that you do. And now that's an opportunity for them to be served once again as well. So you share your private lending program, you answer their questions, and then the the money's in the follow-up. So at the end of the one-on-one, -on -one, whatever you know interest they share, then of course you're going to follow up with them. You're going to look for further opportunities. We all know that multiple touches are better. Again, people want to work with people they know, like, and trust. How do you get to know people, like people, and trust people? More experiences with them. So you're going to follow up with them. You are going to follow through if there was something that you could do to help their business. And you're going to check in with them and see if there's something you can do in terms of helping them to get their money working for them. So so it's, it's a very symbiotic relationship. There's so much opportunity there. And it's really about growing that relationship and looking for how you can teach and help. Chevy? So a couple of things, Jay. First and foremost, if, if you don't have Jay's five steps of raising private money that he lists step-by-step step in his book, you need to go back and review that, right? Um, so what, when you're at you know, where Jay and Crystal and I, we've done this for years, we can talk to people, we, we know the program, we can explain it. You know, if you're spring, like brand spanking new and don't know this process, don't know anything, then learn a system and use that system, right? And so Jay's got that system laid out for you. And so when you're talking with somebody, you ask, you know, step number two is the casual conversation. You ask the qualifying question. Step number three is the audio. And then Jay's talking about step number four, which is the one-on-one -on -one presentation. And this is all laid out for you step-by-step step in Jay's program. If I hold the two hands, there you go. Um, that... Sorry, Crystal, you got background noise. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and what I want to say is that if you've never raised private money, if you've never done this business and you think that you have a better system than Jay's, then you go ahead and test it. Only we know that Jay's system works. So if you change Jay's system because, well, you know, you've been in sales for 20 years or you've done this or that, well, you've created a new system, right? And that new system, you have to go out and test. Jay's system has been tested by hundreds, thousands of people across the world, and we know it works. So what I would say is use Jay's system first, follow the five steps, raise some private money. And then if you want to tweak it after you've raised money and done deals, feel free. And until then, follow the system because systems are there for a reason, right? Because because we know they're proven and they're tested and they work. And so that's the first thing is that Jay, use Jay systems if you've never done this before. And then if you have done it before, as as Crystal said, you know, get in there and and as we always said, build that rapport, build that relationship, get to know them, get to know what they're looking for, and then present your your offer because you know that that is something that they need. And that's going to help stop their bleeding, right? With that, here's lots of love coming to you from Jay and Carol, Joey and Brenda and Ashley here in Moorhead City. Crystal, Chaffee, all of us are going to be there at the live event and mastermind. And with that, God bless you. And I'll see you right here in Moorhead City in one and a half weeks from now. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye, -bye. Bye for now. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's j-c-o-n-n-e-r.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.